Happy Spooktember everyone! Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made these Halloween decorations from products I found at Dollar Tree and at Michael's. This is a part one of a two-part Halloween series. For my first DIY, I did lose some footage where I glued the letters to the banners, but if you have any questions about any of the DIYs in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified the next time I post a video. Now, let's get started. For this project, I used a black marker, some orange and black construction paper that I had to manually sort out of the big pack, some black printer paper letters that spelled out Happy Halloween, which I then sorted out which ones will have which color, and I did this by writing it out and splitting out the letters. I also found a banner flag template online and used that to cut out the shapes. I cut the template out with some regular scissors and traced the banner pattern on a few pieces of alternating orange and black construction paper. I did this with the paper laying horizontally so I could use the most out of the paper. I did do it vertically the first time and let me save you some time and extra paper by saying it was much easier and much faster by doing it horizontally. After cutting the banners, I cut the letters out as well. And once I cut them out, I have a lovely little happy Halloween, except that stupid W and N. Not at all, easy fix, just color it in with some black marker. If you have some letters that rip or are too big, like for example, my W is way too big, I cut up the middle a little bit and put some masking tape behind it to secure it. I then went in with some tacky glue and tacky glued the letters to the banner flags. You can use glue or you can use tape or hot glue, any adhesive you really want to use. And here's the banner all together. You can add some additional props to the backdrop if you want. I used this fun skeleton from the Dollar Tree. I'll also be adding some jack-o'-lantern balloons around it as well. I'm so excited to see what it looks like all done. This next DIY, I had three plastic skeletons I bought at various places. I wanted to jazz them up a little bit, so I took some black paint and enhanced the coloring around the skeleton to make it a little bit more spooky. So I'm painting the teeth and the nose and the eyeballs as well. You can let it dry or do what I did and just added some tacky glue. Well, I tried to add some tacky glue anyway. My tacky glue did not want to come out. Eventually, I added the tacky glue to the eyes and the nose areas on the skeleton. Then I went in with some red fine glitter where I added the glue. Shake out the excess glitter and then boom, red spooky eyes. If that's not enough for you, you can go ahead and add a small dot of tacky glue. Again, here I am trying to struggle with this tacky glue that doesn't want to cooperate. And you can add two large gemstones to the center of the eyes to make it more spooky and look like it has eyeballs. Spooky. I did the same thing that I did to the other skull to this one, but for this one I added rhinestones in the entire eye socket and on each tooth. I also wanted it to match a little to the other skull, so I sprinkled on some of that red fine glitter in the eyes and the teeth area. Achieve the rhinestone tooth look by adding small glue dots on each area of the tooth and then adding a smaller gem to it. The third skull, I just enhanced the darker areas with the paint and left it blank. I'm using these two for a centerpiece for my dining table with some orange and black gems and some colored string lights. I love Halloween so much, and here's what they look like on my dining room table. I 
And here's a super quick DIY for all of you. I got these plastic skeleton hands from the Dollar Tree and they're kind of large, but they're super cool. You'll also need a bowl. And I actually ended up painting this bowl black, but not perfectly because I wanted it to look streaked. But you don't have to paint it if you didn't want to. Earlier, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to place the hands, but once you kind of figure out how you want it to go, you can go ahead and begin gluing where the inside of the knuckles would be with hot glue and pressing that glued area onto the outside of the bowl. I'm not really sure if the inside of the knuckles has a name, but I'm just going to call it the inside of the knuckles for now. Just to be sure it stays in place, you can go ahead and add some more glue to the top of the hand. And that's it! Now you have a spooky ooky candy bowl. I added a plain skeleton to the center of it as a finishing touch. My last Halloween DIY in this video, you will need two clear cake trays from Dollar Tree, some small plastic skulls, Dollar Tree candle holders, some strong adhesive, and some orange and black gems I got from Michaels. Next, you'll want to assemble how you want the cake stand to look. Once you have it all set up, take one of the cake trays, flip it over, and glue the smaller end of the candlestick to the tray. I used some hot glue and some E6000 to make sure it was on there tight and secure. With the tray still flipped over, I went ahead and hot glued some plastic skulls around the rim of the candlestick holder. Once you're done gluing the skulls, put it to the side and do the same thing to the other tray. Only this time, I glued the larger opening to the side of the tray because I wanted more support as this will be the connector piece. I added the black and orange gems to the rim of the candle holder in an alternating pattern. And then once I had my pattern all set up, I just went ahead and glued them on. Once it's all done and you flip it over, you can see where it's all glued together, but that's okay because you'll be connecting the other tray to this one and it won't be as noticeable. And now that the two trays are glued together with the two candlestick holders, go ahead and glue them together. Once they were glued together, I wanted to add a center piece because you could still see the glue from the gems. So I added another few rows of gems into a pile of sorts and topped it off with a plastic skull. This design would only really work if you plan to place cupcakes or cookies on it, which I plan to use it as a cupcake stand. And there you have it. I ended up having to paint mine because, full disclosure, in between filming I accidentally dropped one of the glued trays and it split near the sides, so I had to glue it back on. If you do plan to paint it, I suggest using spray paint for a more finished look and if you don't have any food on it and actually touching the tray, and to do it before gluing. I painted it with acrylic black paint and I wanted a more clouded look so it's a little messy looking. Thank you so much for watching my Halloween decor video. I'll be posting a Halloween home tour for my next video because I absolutely love spooky season and I wanted to go a little crazy with my home decor this year. I hope you try some of these DIYs out and if you do, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much again and I can't wait to see you again soon. Have a spooktacular day.